that I would represent, one of the things that I want to be able to do and what is desperately needed is the infrastructure that connects them to uh, not only to the fresh water that we have, the infrastructure that connects them to uh, the internet. That is so important, that's something that I've been hearing that's a necessity. Our environment is so important, um, the health and well-being of our crops and, um, and being able to make sure that uh, the, the waters are safe and protected, that our crops are growing. Uh, right now we have um, tariffs on certain things and we have to subsidize our farms because of this. This shouldn't be. Um, our farmers are really important to the economy here. They employ our communities, they employ a large, large immigrant community, and we work together hand in hand. We have people that come and travel to pick the blueberries and to come and pick the, the, um, the cucumbers and the asparagus and, and you name it. These crops, are hard workers are coming to um, work these fields. And we need to look at both our farmers and our workers and um, understand the obstacles and issues that both face and um, I want to make sure that I'm a voice for our farmers. I want to make sure that our farmers can come to me with any concerns that they have and work with them on helping solve those problems. Could, could you also address some of the transportation needs here in Ottawa County, in terms of people being able to get to work, go to go to school, be able to move around the county, or even go to, uh, to Grand Rapids or Muskegon? Yeah, yeah, so absolutely. So when we're talking about infrastructure, that is, um, it's actually, uh, uh, encompasses many things. So it encompasses not only uh, the, the water pipes that we have and the, the um, internet lines that we have, but also the, infra the infrastructure will um, encompasses our transportation, our, our roads. And what we really need to do is connect um, a transient system really to connect us with Grand Rapids and each, up and down the lake shore. That will be so beneficial for people that um, they can't afford to drive they have, don't have the licenses to drive. Um, so it's really important that we work on expanding and connecting. Uh, we are growing. Ottawa County is one of the fastest growing counties in Michigan. And we need to step up and be ahead of the game rather than behind the game. Um, so I would work definitely work um, adamantly in making sure that we can expand our um, infrastructure transportation-wise in connecting these areas. Um, you know, the, the affordable housing, the mixed income housing, is something that also addresses the transportation issue and wanting to build um, affordable housing in areas where, um, where they call it mixed income, so you have different levels, and it's more of the uh, inner city of Holland, the downtown area, so people can walk and they don't have to have a car. There's a lot, especially our youth, um, they are, are, our young adults are really not wanting Many of them, they love to ride their bikes. They love to be more environmentally friendly. They want to be able to walk to work or walk to the coffee shop um, and use their vehicles really as little as possible. We need to begin to capitalize on this and see where's the future heading? How are the future generations uh, responding to the community around them? And then we need to be on board with that. Um, and so that's, those are the things. I'm a visionary, and I, I want to be down, I want to be at those tables talking about the vision and the future of our community and how can we make that better, how can we make that more accessible, and how can we make that more affordable. One more, one more question. Are, could you talk about things that you could do to help promote the arts and the cultural heritage of this community? Because it's really changed over the years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Holland is known as a Dutch community. It's got those Dutch roots. But we are very diverse, and this we have a very large Hispanic community. And within this Hispanic community, there's a lot of diversity. Um, but we have many people from all over the place. Um, but when we talk about uh, arts and culture, we like that around here. Um, we, and so I want to be able to continue to help grow that. But one of the things I want to do with culture, because I really love culture, is capitalize on highlighting these important days and events within these cultures. That's part of learning and growing together. So I think of uh, the Dia de los Muertes and how we can um, have a celebration that we come together like we do Cinco de Mayo and have our communities come together and let's teach the Dutch community about the, the Hispanic celebrations that we have. 
And then I want to tap into our friends in the, in the Muslim faith. And I know that they're here. I've met many of them. And let's learn about their traditions. Let's learn about what they do. And can we join them in a celebration together? I, for me, that's part of um, elevating uh, culture. And that's how we learn together as well. And that's how we build community. Um, the arts is really important in our area. All along the lakeshore, we love arts. Um, from music to, um, to painting to you name it. I mean, we've got the art prize down in Grand Rapids. We have um, the Tulip Time poster every year. That, that's a, a celebration. Um, let's, I would love to see that expanded outward and show, really show the diversity that we have here in Holland and that we are rooted in Dutch tradition, but we are so much more.